Welcome back, everybody, to Subsistence. I'm an old guy gaming, and we just uh, captured ourselves a new chicken so we can recycle uh, these guys. So we'll put the new fresh chicken in there. Make sure he pops out. Beautiful. Okay, and then we also uh, just refreshed this chicken not too long ago. Uh, so let's go ahead and butcher this guy and get all the goodness from it. Um, and then we're going to split this in half. Uh, we got some meat there that we've burned. Uh, here, let's also butcher this chicken. And get that meat burning as well. Our goal for today, our main uh, purpose for today's episode, is to upgrade our bow to level 2 and then go test it out. So that's uh, what is on the agenda among whatever other craziness happens to us today. Uh, so let's get that stuff put away. This can go in here, that can go in there, that can go in there. Uh, and that can go in there. Okay, so I should have... Let's put that in there and pop this over into the thing here. So that gets us 140, 150 mass. Okay, good. Uh, we have uh, almost max power. Let's pop this back on, though. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what we're going to do is upgrade our bow, so let's go into here. I made three ingots because we're going to need those for this uh, little purpose. Uh, so we're going to need six weapon parts, 12 pearls, six ropes, and four ingots, and I already have an ingot in here. So let's grab that ingot. We need to make six ropes, so we'll grab all this sinew. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get that going. And then... Um, 12 pearls. So we'll split this in half and uh, got the pearls there. Okay, so we're just basically waiting on the rope. While that's happening, uh, what I want to do is I want to start making some uh, more food. Uh, so we're going to grab 20 maters here and some of this. And we're going to grab 10 water. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And let's get some soups going here for us. The tomato soup is really probably the best carb, uh, you know, everyday carb food, I would say, uh, in the game here. And then I've got a crop up above that's about ready to harvest, if not actually ready to harvest. We can go check that, too. Okay, let's put those back. Now, we also want to grab... Uh, eggs, I got 54 eggs and two stacks of steak, and let's also make up 10 steak and eggs, which is probably the, the easiest, well, I'd say between the steak and eggs and the, and the, and the liver and onions. If you don't have chickens, liver and onions is definitely the protein, uh, food to make for your everyday food. Uh, but if you do have the eggs like we do, um, then it's the steak and eggs. So I think the steak and eggs is just a little bit better than the liver and onions. Now, we um, could stand to eat both some of uh, both of those, so let's eat both of them right now and get that back up. That gets our health cap up to 121, which is a beautiful thing. Um, and then we can also make four more um, uh, baked or roast chicken dinners, and we also have a rack of ribs that we can uh, cook up, too, when the time comes. All right, let's grab these two burned guys and put them in here. Uh, what? Nope. Got a drag and drop. Can't shift click those. All right, so we should have everything we need to upgrade the bow. Oh, we need the weapon parts too. So let's just grab eight of those. I think did it say six or eight? I don't remember. Uh, here we go. Upgrading the bow. Boom, baby. Uh, I guess it was just six. So this is going to make our bow um, bring it up to level two. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take it out and test it. I've got uh, some premium arrows here. I've got 21 in here and then 21 in my own inventory. And then I have 20 normal arrows, and we're going to do a couple of, um, of tests with the bow, see how good it is at level 2. All right, there she is, man. Look at that. Level 2, 40% upgrade on the bow. Love it. Okay, cool. So uh, I think we're good to go out and do some testing. Uh, what do I want to do? Uh, let's look at one other thing, too. To bring this to the next level, I want to probably get this bow all the way leveled up. So 10 weapon parts, 20 crystal, 9 rope. Yeah, this really isn't that that bad. I mean, we can we can do this fairly soon, too. The 6 ingots are going to be the toughest thing, because we got all the rest of that stuff. Um, and 9 rope, I mean, that's significant, too. So, yeah, we'll, we'll be hitting that upgrade uh, as soon as possible. 
I think I want to get the bow upgraded all the way to the max for sure. Uh, just because we use it the most and because we can use the cheap arrows, it's the cheapest weapon to use for hunting. And I mean, you know, we get it upgraded good enough and we can use it to take out the hunters too if we wanted to, especially with these premium arrows. Uh, all right, so let's grab those two soups that are done and stick them in here. And I want to get some uh, pro ore processing going on again. So let's, yeah, turn both of these on. We should, um, actually, let's go check the garden before we, we head out. So I'm going to grab these two seeds. I got one cotton seed, one carrot seed. Uh, we don't really have a whole lot of fertilizer, so I think I'm going to leave that be. But we will take some water up there with us. Okay. Yeah, so let's check the garden real quick. Um, I've been thinking about this whole garden situation. So the thing is, is... I'm thinking about moving the garden plots down to this deck here. They have lights on 100% of the time. I just leave those lights on anymore, so that way they can grow through the night, and I don't have to keep remembering to come up here and turn them off and turn them on and so on and so forth. Um, And then, I mean, as cool as this glass looks, it's just really not practical. Because what I'd like to really do up here is I'd like to just continue, you know, as we get resources, building more windmills and more solar panels or looting them from the hunters and just have this whole entire deck be nothing but a ginormous powerhouse. Um, and that's not going to happen overnight, of course, but just kind of gradually work on that, which means, you know, I don't know what to do with this class. I mean, I could scrap it, which would be really kind of a shame considering how expensive it is, but I, I'm not sure what else I would do with it otherwise. So, yeah, I've been pondering that. Uh, let's go ahead and get all these guys picked we wasted 12 of freaking potatoes on that stupid single molotov and was that the last episode whatever episode that was that was so freaking irritating man uh, all right so let's go ahead and extract five seeds from here and then one two three more and we'll replant these looks like we're really good on fertilizer and water yeah actually i think i i did uh, redo this not too long ago. Okay, so let's pick the carrots. I think onions uh, are what we have the most of at the moment. So we're going to plant the cotton seed um, in the onion trough for, for this time. Okay, so for carrots, we're going to need five and then seven. Uh, no, eight. One more. Okay, carrots are replanted. So yeah, we'll um we'll put the cotton seed in the onion this time. So I, I kind of move the cotton seed, the cotton plants around as a, you know, depending upon how much we have of one particular thing. So let's throw the cotton seed in there. Then we want five of these and then just two more. So extract one, extract one. There we go. Uh, this does need some more water. Uh, did we check the water on this? Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, and then we'll get our maters. Our tomatoes, tomato, tomato, and then of course we want to just do a full replant of those. So split this in half, do five and three, and we're good on water and fur there. Okay, um, I'm just gonna squirt a water in there so they're all at 100%. Very good. That takes care of our produce harvest. Whoop, get down there. Jump down this way. And now let's uh, let's put these soups in here. And put all of our produce away. There we go. Yeah, so we still, even after that, we have 46 onions. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab six of these. And um, actually, no, let's grab... that many and we're gonna grab 10 carrots put that in there and we're gonna use this stuff to to feed our chickens because we're kind of low on food there so let's split this in half and give them five and split this in half and give them that much we're gonna have to rewater them too so that gets them almost all the way up which is great normally I like to use grubs and seaweed to feed these guys but I'm very low on both of those things at the moment 
Um, okay, so we'll put that back in there. I only have 10 seaweed, and I really should turn those into antidotes, which actually I think we'll do. Uh, what do we need for antidotes? We need two livers and six of these. So we can actually only make one antidote unless we... Oh, what am I doing? I want this. Uh, make some more of the uh, of these, which requires medicinal plants. We just actually need to make one more of those. I just keep the medicinal plants in here because we also use them for the soup, of course. So when that's done, then I'll be able to make a, a third antidote. Okay, and boom, there we go. Okay, so we got that done. Let's put this water back. All right, so what are you doing? You're work still working on soups, and then we got the it's 10 stacks of steak and eggs co coming up. All right, now, I wanted to get um, our ore processing going again. I had shut all that down just so I could build up enough power to do all that cooking and get the, you know, the bow upgrade done for you guys on camera. Um, so what are we lowest on? We are low on zinc and potassium, I guess. So yeah, let's go ahead and process, start processing those two. And we're going to start our miners back up again and with both of our jennies running we're still uh, in the plus on the power but that's partly why i want to turn that entire upper deck into nothing but a ginormous solar panel slash windmill field and then here again we'll take the crops and probably just line them up down here uh, nice and neatly and i don't think we need to cover them well they're going to be covered anyways from the deck so so the real question is what do i do with all the glass I mean, the simplest thing to do is just recycle it, but of course we don't get all of our materials back. But I don't, I don't really want to use the glass up here because I, you know, this needs to stay open. I don't know if the glass will affect the solar panels, but I'm sure they would affect the windmills. So I have to think about that. <clears throat> the other, you know, the other thing is if I decide to keep it, then I have to, I need a place to kind of store it until later, and that could be interesting too. This is kind of been like our little storage area for extra pieces but there's there's not a ton of room there you know <coughs> so yeah we gotta we gotta think about that how strong is the glass uh, I, don't, I haven't ever even bothered to look at that we should be able to see it with our hammer oh it's only 600 hit points so it's not in not any stronger than the wood okay I've kind of thought maybe the glass would be stronger, but I suppose in real life it wouldn't be, so that sort of kind of makes sense. You just never know how these video games work, though, with stuff like that. Okay, let's put the... Uh, so we got three antidotes. We're good there. Uh, do I not have a pick? Where's my pick? Oh, it's right here. I must have swapped it out. Okay, let's grab that soup and put it in here. And we have one more soup and then all of the steak and eggs. Okay, so we should be good to go. <clears throat> um, we'll, we'll let the mass build back up. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out and we're going to test the level two bow with the two different arrows. And I want to see um, how effective it is. So, for example, can we now one-shot a level one wolf with a normal arrow? I know we can level uh, one-shot a level one wolf with the good arrows. Um, I've already actually done it. Uh, that's even before we upgraded the bow, too, <clears throat> to level two. Um, but can we do that now with one arrow? <clears throat> and then we'll also try some larger game, too, and just kind of see how, you know, how this works. Keeping in mind, <coughs> again, that I am going to, you know, it is, oh, shit, I needed to wash my hands. Uh, it is my intention to get that bow upgraded all the way, eventually. And then it's going to be a beast, The best scenario is kill level three wolves with one shot using a normal arrow. Gotta make sure there's no dudes down here. Oh, I'm infected. Oh shit, because I didn't wash my hands. 
All right, well, let's go wash our hands. Spent a little too long there, didn't I? Well, it's a good thing we made three anti... Not antibiotics. Um, What are they called? Antidotes. Yeah, three antidotes. Son of a gun, man. All right. Well, shit happens. While we're here, let's uh, s grab some seaweed and see if there's any clams. I'm not bothering with the sandstone because I have a plenty of it. Probably more than I'll, I'm planning on actually using in this playthrough. Anyway, uh, but we are using the seaweed to feed the chickens and make more antidotes because I let myself get infected because I didn't wash my damn hands. Uh, so we do want that. Just making sure there's nothing on the shore here. Human or critter that would like to eat us for lunch. There's a clam. Beautiful. We need those. We just, we just spent 12 friggin' pearls on that upgrade. And we're going to need... Oh, I think the next upgrade requires circuit boards, which requires pearls. I don't know if it's 12, but... Um... Okay, I don't think I see any more seaweeds that way. We kind of don't want to get all the way over there anyways, because that gets right up to Bravo's front door. Alrighty. I guess, you know what, there's, well, no, we better go back and take our antidote. Uh, the problem with being infected, aside from the fact that it really screws your health cap up, like takes half of it away or so, it also will slowly uh, degrade your your wellness. Um, and, you know, we don't want that to happen either, right? So we, be we better go get fixed up here. <clears throat> Pick some blueberries. I'm, I'm looking, keeping my, oh, bear. I'm keeping my eye open for, for strawberries because they only grow in the summer and we need them for jam, so. Is that son of a bitch chasing me? I think, I think he was just tracking me. I don't think he was actually chasing me. All right, let's take one of those. And while we're here, we might as well transfer these to the fridge. Are we low enough to eat one of these? Not quite. Getting close, but not quite. Okay. Um, Pearl. Put the pearl away. Took me a second to remember what in the world I was doing here. Blueberry can go in there. <clears throat> Why don't we do this? Why don't we take this with us and we'll eat it on the road. Let her are not hungry to get down just a little bit more. And we're also thirsty because it's hot. Out. Um, actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to take the chance of that going bad. That would be just a shame. So let's just eat two of these right now. <clears throat> okay. Let's do this again. Let's head on out and do some testing. We're going to head towards the valley um, as we do our testing. Hopefully don't run into any rogues or anything like that. We'll, we don't need chickens right now, so we're just going to leave leave them be. Okay, so here's our here's our testing. Uh, level 1 wolf with a normal arrow. Can we one-shot them now or not? Level 3 wolf with a premium arrow. Can we one-shot a level 3 wolf with a premium arrow? Level 1 bear. How many shots will it take to kill a level one bear with a premium arrow? Not that I'm going to do that on a regular basis, because I've already mentioned a million times to you guys that, oh, look what we have here. Nice. Uh, I don't think bears are worth killing, not deliberately anyways. Okay, so we got a lot of metal. We got a bunch of medicinal tonics and some uh, magnum rounds. Yeah, that's a good chest. That's not bad at all. I'll take it. I will take it, man. Okay. Okay. We still should have one more lockpick, too, right? Yeah. I always try and keep two on me. So maybe we'll luck out and run into another locked chest whilst we're out and about here. Let's go up this way. I think I checked last night, and there was there's a, a road camp kind of that way, so we don't want to get too much further that way. Let's see what... This is a level two bear. Damn, let's not mess with a level two bear. Um. Okay. So, yeah, we'll move this direction. Try and avoid the rogue camp. They're just a freaking waste of ammo. 
but not very good return. The only real good thing the rogues seem to drop fairly regularly are gears, and we do need gears for breaching charges. Okay, what level is this bear? That's also a level two, and he's guarding the chest, but, you know, we'll, we're going to just let that go. <clears throat> or I'll just let that go for now. Got a chest over there? Uh-uh. Press the hill, look around, make sure we're not running right into a bear or a wolf or something worse. Medicinal plant in another building crate. We'll take it. Okay, we got uh, level one bear. All right, so let's make sure we're on the good arrows. And let's just see what damage this will do. Oh, well, it took him down over half. So we can definitely, definitely two shot a level one bear with the premium arrows. Um, so that's good to know. But again, this was for science. That's not something we're going to be doing normally. Ah, oh, the crate's got blood on it. That was really weird because I was thinking, I've never seen any red crates in this game. What is going on here? Okay, we've got an ammo crate here. I'm always welcome shotgun shells. If there was one, if I only had to work with one weapon in this whole game, it would be the shotgun. Okay, that's a level one wolf. So, can we one shot a level one wolf with a normal arrow? Let's see. Nope, not quite. Uh, we can definitely two shot. Yeah, the base is going to have to hold its own. I'm not running back there right now. Screw those guys. <clears throat> we'll just have to repair when we, when we get back. Yeah, it was fully repaired before I started the episode, so I'm not too worried about it. Not too worried about it. Okay, let's run down into the valley here. Just kind of keep our eyes peeled specifically for rogues. And we're going to grab this iron, too. Let's get out over the top of this rock and just kind of do a little bit of recon here. Okay, I don't see any humans, so let's head on down. So we've tested normal arrow on level one wolf, and it, we still can't get a one shot off on that. So now we need to find a level three wolf and see if a premium can one-shot a level three. We're not going to do anything more with bears right now. I would also like to try the premiums out on a moose, too, and see how effective that is. We've got a wolf over there by that bear. And a chest, too. Okay, what level is this bear? He's a level one. All right, you know what we're going to do with him is we're going to kill him with a normal arrow and this that was a little risky but we saved our more expensive ammo in the process I'm only killing him because he's in the damn way otherwise we would have left him alone okay that's a level 2 wolf uh, let's just normal kill that with normal arrows Oh, we can two-shot a level two wolf. That's good to know. With normal arrows. We weren't able to do that before. That's really good to know. Okay, so level two wolves are now two-shot with normal arrows. Very, very good to know. Very good to know. Okay, we better get down here and get our hands washed before we get infected again. Let's grab this ammo crate. And this bow's only going to get better, you know, as we keep upgrading it. I think 20% increase in damage is pretty generous. Hey, that crate just popped in right in front of my eyes. How about that? Take it. All right, let's go get washed up. Make sure there's no fishermen around here. I think we're good. No critters next to the shore. Okay. We'll get seaweed and clams. There's a clam right there. Excellent. We're all about those clams, baby. So we still need to find a level 3 wolf. 
uh, and see if we can one shot with a premium arrow and we need to find a moose I want to see what the bow is going to do to a moose we'll keep our shotgun handy just in case All right, I don't see any more seaweed. Unfortunately, it's getting dark. Well, let's just keep going until we can't see anymore. And then I'll probably just lumberjack my way home. We got another stupid bear there, which we don't care about. Let's go up this way. No wolves. Another bear. It's a blueberry. That's a level two bear. Yeah, we don't care about him. Let's just... Okay, that's a level two wolf. Let's see if we can two-shot him again just to confirm that it actually works. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Okay. Uh, what? Why the hell did I do that? Well, I guess I kind of needed to. All right. Well, that's nice to know. Well, unfortunately, my friends, it is getting too dark to see. So, I'm going to start working my way back to the house and cutting wood along the way. Um, we still have a little time left in this episode, so I'll, I'll just cut the camera here and I'll bring you back in the morning and we'll do our final test. Well, we, we want to, we want to do two more tests. We want to find a moose and we want to see if we can one shot a level three wolf with a premium arrow. So, um, the wolf shouldn't be a problem. The elk or not the elk, the moose will depend upon if we can actually find one. So I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, we are back. It's the next day. And so let's go out and finish our testing we're looking for a level three wolf and a moose so we're gonna go this direction this time and see what we can do here i gotta get those things upgraded i know i keep saying that so when i get home tonight i'm gonna make uh six i think metal plates and we're gonna get those final two walls upgraded it's gonna happen man it is gonna happen Okay, so, oh, shit, we got rogues. We got rogues, we got rogues, we got rogues. Let's zig and zag and zoog. Um, actually, you know what? I don't want to fight them uh, at the base because they're just going to bust it all up again. So let's fight them here. Yeah, shoot the tree. See if they get in close. If we can get them to come in close, we'll blast them. These guys aren't too smart. I know, I say that all the time, huh? Okay. Is it just him? I saw more than one, but apparently, see, so yeah, we get we do get two gears off of him, so that doesn't suck, you know. I thought we saw a couple of them up there. Yeah, see, there's their fire right there. They didn't aggro on us though. All right, you know what? Let's ignore them then, it's just to save our own ammo. <clears throat> and be happy that we got a couple gears off of that asshole. <laughs> okay, so we'll go down more this way and avoid those dudes. Okay, level three wolf and a moose. Preferably a level three moose, just so we are working with the toughest one and see, you know, what, what it's going to take. And 
of course, we will pick up loot crates along the way because that's what you do in this game. 90% of what you do. Well, actually, no. 90% cutting wood and, and loot crates. Toss up between those two. Except for probably more cutting wood than even loot crates. <laughs> you cut a lot of wood in this game. That's all right. Okay, we got a wolf here. Don't know what level it is yet. <clears throat> So level one. Okay, so are we just on normal arrows? Yeah. All right. We'll just take him out the normal way. Let's go up this direction, and uh, now nah, we don't want we don't want to mess with a level one bear. A bear over that direction. And a crate and a wolf down to the crick here. <clears throat> okay, what level is this bear? It's a level one. Here, let's check that. Another level one wolf. Alright. Let's just deal with him with normal arrows. Let's see what direction that bears heading off towards. There's a carrot. Let's see if we can nab this without aggroing him. If we do aggro him, we'll blast him. That's right. You go the other way, man. Okay. Good enough. Got another crate down here. And is that a crate or a fern? I think that's just a fern. There's some ore over this way. And it could be iron or it could be potassium or it could be zinc. So I was thinking about the whole color of these ores. Here's what I think Cold Games should do. You should make copper green or greenish orange because that's, you know, kind of what copper looks like. You should make iron brown or brownish red, kind of rust colored. You should make zinc more blue than it is and then keep the potassium the way it is would be a lot easier, I think, to identify the four ores with the, that color-coded uh, scenarios. So there you go. Now, I, now you've heard heard from the OG, OG's opinion, and nobody gives a shit, but it doesn't matter because that's still how I think it should be. <laughs> There's some iron. Okay, we got a bear down that way. Let's go up into the birch wood here. It's a very good place to find locked crates. Uh, speaking of which, there's one right there. How funny is that, man? Um, level two bear, get the hell out of here. We're not messing around with you, man. He tagged us a little bit there. All right, let's see what we get. Two lock crates, man, in the same episode. That's pretty damn good. Uh, okay, so we got three of the plates, so that's good, because we were going to make those anyway. Some tomato seeds, some rifle rounds, some magnum. It's an all-around pretty decent crate. Not like the absolute best crate in the world, but still pretty damn good crate. I got one locked crate that had like 10 magnum rounds in it. And then I got another one that had about that many shotgun rounds too. It's like really good stuff. Get those hands washed. All right, let's keep looking for that level three wolf and that moose. They're kind of elusive today, aren't they? Let's snag this iron. Ooh, there's a potassium right above it too. Oh, this is potassium, okay. It looks like iron from down here. Uh, 
And that's iron. Okay. I just had them bass backwards, that's all. Okay, we got a crate up here. Grab that and keep looking for a level three wolf and our moose. Yeah, this is a really good place to loot, both for lock crates and just in general. Plus, all these are four, you know, four wood trees, all the birch trees. So it's a great place to come and get wood, too. I like it, man. I like it. So we have some fibers. Oh, there's our moose. Okay. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to switch to our good arrows. And see what kind of damage we can do on this moose. Okay, he's only a level one. That's all right, though. Let's just give it a shot and see. Oh, we took him down. Oh, shit. All right, so two premium arrows and one shotgun blast to take down a level one moose. All right. Well, now we know. Um... Once once we do another upgrade, like the third upgrade on the bow, we could probably two-shot uh, two him. Okay. Uh, where's the pig? That's a level three pig. Let's try a premium arrow out on a level three. Oh, wow. Yeah, that... Here, let's just use this to finish him off. That did some major damage on a level three pig. Not bad at all, man. Let's grab this potassium. So we just need to find that level three wolf now. Ah, oh, shit. We're going to have to make some room. Let's... What are we going to get rid of? Do, 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 do. Could turn those into... Um, cordage, but that means we can't pick any more. I think I'm going to sacrifice... One medicinal herb. So we can get that pork. Okay. Oh, sounds like we got a storm coming in. I don't mind storms because it means my windmills will generate power. All right, let's keep running this way, looking for that elusive level three wolf. It knows we're after it, so it doesn't want us to shoot it up. Oh, shit. We got dudes over there. Those are rogues, I'm sure. Um, there's another moose up there. Okay, let's, yeah, let's not mess with the rogues. We'll head back this way. Maybe what we'll do is we'll go up the glacier. Uh, we better even go around this way. Go up the glacier creek and then pass over the mountains back to our, our base. We do have to, if we're going to do that, we have to make sure we don't get too close to Charlie, though. Just because I don't want to mess with them until I have to. Or until I decide to. We'll put it that way. I mean, they'll still randomly come after us every once in a while, but... I've noticed in this game, if you don't antagonize the hunters, they don't attack you all that often. They will, but not. it's not like constant... But if you, you know, if you raid them, or even if you, I think if you defend your base, I still don't know for sure what the deal is on this. Uh, but even if you defend your base, all right, um, let's just eat this carrot. And kill them, I think that triggers another revenge. Oh, is that our level three wolf? I think it is. All right, nice. Let's loot this first. Uh, we're going to eat that straight up. Oh, shit. Okay, do I got the good arrows in? I think I do. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's see if we can one-shot a level three wolf. Oh, yeah, look at that. Nice. Okay. So level threes are now one-shot with premium arrows and our upgraded bow. That's very good to know. Very good to know. All right, guys. Well, we accomplished our scientific test today. And um, definitely... The level 2 bow has improved, but it's 
uh, I'd like to see it do more, and it will do more because we will continue working on getting it upgraded. But I think I'm going to let you guys go here, and I'm just going to kind of work my way back to the base, do a little more looting, maybe a little bit more uh, hunting, that sort of thing. And then uh, we'll bring you back in the next episode and do the next thing, whatever that is. I have some ideas in mind, but I have to think them through a little more before uh, they come to fruition. So I'll let you guys know when the time comes. Thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya. Come here, level two wolf. Love that we can two-shot these guys now with basic arrows. It's a beautiful thing.